Hello. Welcome to Today in History, an AI podcast. I'm Steven. And I'm Ruth. We're the artificial intelligence hosts of this show. Every day, we'll tell you about the most interesting, consequential and sometimes forgotten facts in history that happened on this date. Politics, economy, war, religion, culture. One topic every day. Plus something that you would have heard on the news back then on this date. Also, about a holiday somewhere in the world, someone who was born and someone who died. Hope you stay with us. Please enjoy a few minutes to maybe get a little smarter and appreciate the enormity of every single day. Today is Wednesday, May 1st, 2024. The year is 1885. Our main topic, the original Chicago Board of Trade building open for business. On April 15, 1930, the Chicago Board of Trade building, a magnificent 44-story Art Deco skyscraper, opened its doors for business. Located in the heart of the Chicago Loop, the building was specifically designed to serve as the primary trading venue for the Chicago Board of Trade, CBOT, one of the world's oldest and most prestigious futures exchanges. The building's impressive height of 604 feet, 184 meters, made it a prominent landmark in the city's skyline, and its striking architecture, which features a distinctive Art Deco design with a stunning lobby and ornate details, quickly became an iconic symbol of Chicago's financial district. The construction of the Quad Building was a significant event in the history of Chicago and the world of finance. It marked a major milestone in the growth and development of the Quad, which was founded in 1848 and had previously operated from a number of different locations in the city. The new building provided the Quad with a state-of-the-art trading facility that could accommodate its expanding operations and meet the needs of its growing membership. The Quad Building's opening was also notable for its impact on the city's economy. The building was constructed during a time of economic uncertainty, and its completion provided a much-needed boost to the local economy. The building's opening also coincided with the beginning of a new era in the world of finance, as the Quad was at the forefront of the development of futures trading and the establishment of modern financial markets. Today, the Quad building remains an important part of Chicago's financial landscape and a testament to the city's rich history and heritage. It continues to serve as a trading venue for the CME Group, which was formed in 2007 through the merger of the Quad and the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. The building's iconic status has been recognized through its designation as a Chicago landmark and its inclusion in the National Register of Historic Places. The Quad building's enduring legacy is a testament to the vision and foresight of its creators and the ongoing importance of the financial industry in Chicago and the world. The year is 2009. On the news, same-sex marriage is legalized in Sweden. Good evening and welcome to our evening news broadcast. History was made today in Sweden as same-sex marriage became legal. The country joins a handful of others around the world in recognizing the rights of all couples to marry, regardless of gender. This significant step forward for human rights was made possible by a gender-neutral marriage law passed by the Riksdag on April 1st. The law went into effect today, May 1, and existing registered partnerships can now be converted to marriages. Sweden is now the seventh country in the world and the fifth in Europe to legalize same-sex marriage nationwide. This is a momentous occasion for all those who believe in equality and human rights. Love has truly won the day in Sweden. We spoke to several couples who were eager to tie the knot and start their new lives together. One couple shared their excitement and gratitude for this newfound freedom. We've been waiting for this day for so long. It's amazing to finally have the same rights as everyone else. We're thrilled to start our new life together and build a future filled with love, happiness, and equality. The legalization of same-sex marriage in Sweden is not only a victory for the LGBTQ plus community but also a testament to the country's commitment to equality and human rights. It's a powerful reminder that love knows no boundaries and that all individuals deserve the same rights and opportunities. We'll continue to follow this story and bring you updates as more couples take advantage of this new law. For now, we celebrate this momentous occasion and the joy it brings to so many. Congratulations, Sweden, and all the happy couples who will now be able to live their lives freely and equally. Our selected holiday for today, Christian Feast Day, Augustine Schoeffler, Jean-Louis Bonnard, part of Vietnamese Martyrs. 
The Christian feast day of Augustine Schoeffler and Jean-Louis Bonnard, part of Vietnamese martyrs, is celebrated on November 24. This day commemorates the lives and sacrifices of these two French missionaries who dedicated their lives to spreading Christianity in Vietnam during the 19th century. The cultural significance of this holiday lies in its representation of the strong faith and devotion of these missionaries, who risked their lives to share their beliefs with others. Their dedication and sacrifice serve as an inspiration to Christians around the world, particularly those in Vietnam and other parts of Asia. The story of Augustine Schoeffler and Jean-Louis Bonnard is one of courage, conviction, and compassion. Despite facing persecution and danger, they continued to preach and spread the teachings of Christianity, ultimately giving their lives for their beliefs. Their legacy has left a lasting impact on the people of Vietnam, and their memory continues to be honored and celebrated by Christians worldwide. This holiday also serves as a reminder of the importance of religious freedom and the right to practice one's beliefs without fear of persecution. It highlights the sacrifices made by those who have fought for this right, and reminds us of the ongoing struggle for religious freedom in many parts of the world today. In conclusion, the Christian feast day of Augustine Schoeffler and Jean-Louis Bonnard, part of Vietnamese martyrs, is a day to remember and honor the sacrifices of these two missionaries, and to celebrate their unwavering faith and devotion. It serves as a reminder of the importance of religious freedom and the impact that individuals can have on the world around them. On this day, in 1976, Patricia Stockers, Dutch swimmer, was born. Patricia Stockers is a name that resonates deeply in the world of competitive swimming. Hailing from the Netherlands, this exceptional athlete has left an indelible mark on the sport, both nationally and internationally. Stockers' impressive career is a testament to her unwavering dedication, hard work, and passion for swimming. Stockers' journey to the top began in the 1990s, when she represented her country at the 1996 Summer Olympics in Atlanta, Georgia. As a member of the 4 times 200 meters freestyle relay team, Stockers, alongside Carla Schertz, Manoush Smith, and Kirsten Vliehuis, finished in an impressive sixth position with a time of 8 minutes 8.48 seconds. This remarkable achievement set the stage for Stockers' future successes. A year earlier, Stockers and her teammates won the silver medal in the same event at the European LC Championships in Vienna, Austria. This accomplishment solidified Stockers' position as a force to be reckoned with in the swimming world. Stockers' successes extend beyond her athletic pursuits. She has also made significant contributions to the community, serving as a role model and inspiration for young athletes. Her dedication to promoting healthy lifestyles and the importance of sports participation has made a positive impact on countless lives. Throughout her career, Stockers has demonstrated a steadfast commitment to excellence, discipline, and teamwork. Her achievements serve as a shining example of what can be accomplished with hard work, determination, and a passion for one's chosen field. In conclusion, Patricia Stockers is an exceptional athlete, a dedicated community member, and an inspiration to us all. Her impressive career and contributions to the world of swimming are a testament to her unwavering dedication and passion. We look forward to seeing what the future holds for this outstanding individual. We remember the life of Jack Adams, Canadian-American ice hockey player, coach, and manager, born 1895, who died on this date in 1968. Jack Adams, also known as Jolly Jack, was a remarkable figure in the world of ice hockey. Born in 1895, he played, coached, and managed in the National Hockey League and Pacific Coast Hockey Association during a career that spanned over a decade. His impressive skills on the ice and leadership qualities made him a valuable asset to his teams, leading to two Stanley Cup championships, with Toronto in 1918 and Ottawa in 1927. Adams' dedication and passion for the sport earned him a well-deserved induction into the Hockey Hall of Fame. Adams began his professional career with the Toronto Arenas in 1917, where he quickly established himself as a formidable player. He was known for his physical play and ability to score crucial goals, leading his team to the Stanley Cup championship in his first season. He continued to play for various teams, including the Vancouver Millionaires and Toronto St. Patrick's, before joining the Ottawa Senators in 1925. In addition to his success as a player, Adams also excelled as a coach and manager. He took on these roles for the Ottawa Senators and led the team to their second Stanley Cup championship in 1927. His leadership and strategic thinking were instrumental in the team's success, earning him the respect and admiration of his peers. 
Adam's impact on the sport of ice hockey extends beyond his playing and coaching career. He was a trailblazer in the early days of professional hockey, helping to establish the sport as a major league activity. His dedication, passion, and commitment to excellence set a standard for future generations of players, coaches, and managers. Despite his many achievements, Adams remained humble and kind throughout his life. He was known for his generosity and willingness to help others, both on and off the ice. His contributions to his community and the sport he loved are still remembered and celebrated today. In conclusion, Jack Adams was a remarkable individual who left an indelible mark on the sport of ice hockey. His impressive career, leadership qualities, and commitment to excellence make him a legend in the hockey world. His legacy continues to inspire and motivate those who follow in his footsteps, ensuring that his memory and impact will endure for generations to come. This was Today in History, an AI podcast. Brought to you by Decor Studios. All content was sourced from Wikipedia and processed with open source large language models. This podcast is released under Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 4.0 International License. Thank you so much for listening. Talk to you tomorrow.